So we've been talking about winning in this video series. So the next topic I really wanna hone in on is the vendor management. What are we doing in that level right now to win in 2018 in the second quarter so you can get not just more sales and more listings, but get these properties moving and sold. So first thing around vendor management, look, I got told this years and years ago. You may know it, but if you ain't doing it, you don't know it. So here's the thing. My question to you around your vendor management, you may know some of these things that I'm just gonna to talk to you about, but are you doing it, okay? This is not 2017 anymore, this is 2018, and the market has shifted and changed. You need to adapt and become more flexible and versatile. That's how you're gonna win this year. So, vendor management, first thing, set to sell meeting. Okay, easy to do, easy not to do, correct? But what you need to be thinking about here with your set to sell meetings is just you know, talk about benchmarks. You may have heard some of these tips that I've given you around vendor management in, in some of my few past videos that I've done, you know, in the last one or two years. Go back to them. But here's the first thing. Benchmarks is we need to see how many people we're gonna get through this first weekend and tell that to your vendor. Secondly, how many contracts we expect to give out after the first open home. Thirdly is how many offers we're maybe looking at getting on the first weekend. Also, how many people may be looking for a multiple inspection, meaning come back for a second inspection after they've gone the first time. Give that number to them as a benchmark as well. And also price feedback is another benchmark that we should be looking at, Mr. and Mrs. Vendor. So the set to sell meeting, apart from all the little bits and pieces you need to do, hone in on the benchmark. So they got a real good clear of their expectations of what should happen this weekend. And if we don't meet those expectations from the weekend, amount of people that came through or took a contract, for example, then you can have that candid conversation about the following week where they need to align. Because at the end of the day, your vendors aren't aligned with the market. And this will bring it right in when we're not hitting those benchmarks. Secondly, yeah, vendor reports, we know that, but you've got to do them weekly. Some people today, even agents, forget to do vendor reports. So make sure you get those vendor reports each week. Here's a biggie for me, the third one. Weekly face-to-face -face meeting with your vendor. Not at their home, but at your office. I know, you're probably going, really, get them into my office? Yes, stop playing defensively and start playing offensive. Meaning you pick up the ball and you run, you dictate the terms of how it's gonna work. So have your vendors come to your office, set the time maybe from the set to sell meeting that we're gonna have for the next three to four weeks, meet at this time, at our office each week. So then they can stick it in their diary and they meet you. And then you have that face-to-face -face where you see the whites of their eyes, you see their body language as you're giving them feedback on the sale of the home. Now, the other thing that you need to really do is when you have an auction, if you need to set a reserve meeting, always put it maybe two to three days before the auction itself. But here's the key. Most people, they have a meeting face-to-face -face for the reserve meeting and guess what happens next? there's no follow-up or a summary after that reserve meeting. So you should have a very good, strong, detailed summary of the reserve meeting of what's expected to happen on the Saturday. Now you might say, but Claudia, I've already sort of explained to them face-to-face, -face, why would I need to detail it and articulate it on an email? Why? Because sometimes, as you know, like me, things go in one ear and then go out the other. But you know what, after I've had that meeting and then I get an email, I read it and it reaffirms and reinforces what are the outcomes that are gonna happen on the auction day for your vendor. This is super, super important. This is the bit that I feel can sometimes close the gap on auction day between you selling and you not selling. So the vendor management things today, here, as I said before, what do I guarantee? These are the things that I can guarantee. All those little steps around vendor management. You do enough of that, guess what, you're gonna win with your vendor management and get more properties sold in the second quarter of 2018.